In this video we shall be comparing the Corsair's Airflow with the G-Skills Turbulence 2 memory coolers. Now these two coolers have been reviewed on their own and for more information on each one of them please refer to the respective review videos. The links are on the annotation and descriptions. Now starting off with the physical features, the dimensions are very very similar. They are approximately same height and they are approximately same width as well. The difference and which is a great difference is in construction. The G-Skill Turbulence 2 is created out of a thin sheet of metal whilst the Corsair's Airflow is constructed out of brushed aluminum and the gauge of metal used is much thicker and the construction overall is much more sturdier. They both install in very similar fashion as well simply by stretching the leg over the memory's retention clip which makes them both suitable for a wide variety of motherboards. There is a point of difference here, the Corsair Airflow allows the position of the fan block to be adjusted. Notice the screw holes on the top are wide. This ability to adjust actually helps in cooling as we shall see later in the video. The second point of difference is that once the thumb screws are completely tightened, the overall structure is much sturdier than the g skill. Now this will help when we are moving the case around, the chances of the cooler slipping and falling down is reduced. Next is the subject of clearance, which is a very frequently asked question. The clearance in the G-Skill Turbulence is almost 6cm, just at 5.8cm, measured from the RAM slot to the surface of the fan. With the Corsair Airflow, the clearance was slightly less at 5.3cm. Installation on our test system was really easy and the adjustment that we spoke of earlier allowed the fans to be placed directly on top of the RAM. Although there was a USB 3 connector just at the bottom leg of the cooler, though the adjustment took care of that. Now this was a problem with the G-Skill cooler. If you notice, the body of the memory cooler is above the CPU cooler and it is slightly tilted because of the cable connectors being so close to the RAM slots. Now this is not necessarily a criticism of the cooler itself. The issue here is with the motherboard. The motherboard manufacturers need to understand that we are putting more things, bigger coolers near the CPU and the spacing would really really help. I've used the G-Skill Turbulence cooler in many many cases. Having a larger case does give us more room to work with and makes things easier but no matter how big a case we have, it's the motherboard's layout that will make it easier for such RAM coolers etc to fit in properly. A large CPU cooler will also prevent any memory cooler to be installed. A water cooling block however is a great solution because it takes heat away and expels it elsewhere, also takes a very little room where it matters. Now coming back to the performance of the two coolers, we are using Asus Thermal Radar to keep an eye on the temperatures. At the time of performing these tests, the room temperature was 25 degrees and without any cooler the idle temperature was 36 degrees and we used Prime95 blend test which stresses both CPU and RAM. The temperature then shot up to 39 degrees. Next once the Corsair Airflow cooler was installed the temperature was recorded to be 29 degrees at idle and then when it was loaded with Prime95 again the temperature was recorded at 29 degrees. Surprisingly no change. With G-Skill Turbulence 2, the idle temperature was recorded at 31 degrees and at load it went up to 33 degrees. So in conclusion, let's look at this comparison chart. The approximate price of Corsair Airflow is $40 Australian and G-Skill Turbulence 2 costs about $22 Australian. Structure wise, both construction and after installation the Corsair Airflow held better and performance as well it was ahead of the G-Skill Turbulence. I know a lot of people get components which has lights on them just to light up the inside of their case in which case the G-Skill Turbulence is the obvious choice. With regards to clearance for RAMs with tall heat sinks the G-Skill Turbulence had the advantage. As far as sound is concerned, both of them were very very quiet. I couldn't pick up anything above the background noise with a sonometer. With regards to warranty, Corsair supports the airflow with lifetime warranty and G-Skill supports the turbulence too with one year warranty. 
So that wraps up our comparison with Corsair leading the way with performance and structure, whilst G-Skill providing the visuals and a better price point. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you've enjoyed it. What you liked or disliked about this video, please be sure to let us know in the comment section below. And please do also remember to subscribe in order to stay updated with our latest upcoming videos. Hope to see you next time. Bye for now.